Hello people of YouTube, how are you today? It is me, Abby, and today we are going to be making our own custom-made lipsticks with other lipsticks that I have. Okay, let's get started. I saw Sophia Nagar do this with her nude lipsticks. For me, I am going to be using like old lipsticks that I have that have broken. Um, example, my Kat Von D one has completely gotten destroyed. Um, ones that I don't use at all, like these um, LA Color Matte ones, or this one, which I don't even know where it's from. So I have several lipsticks, and some of these I'm gonna use like all the lipstick that's in the tube, and with some of them, just because I feel like I might just want that color again, um, I'm only going to use certain bits and pieces of it so I don't waste too much. So I'm going to show you all the lipsticks that I have right now, do a little bit of a swatch test on some paper, and then we're going to get started. Let's do this. Here are our lipsticks. We have some greens, some nudes, a lot of reds and pinks, That which is the weird thing because usually a lot of people like to keep their reds and pinks. One weird nude yellow color and a couple shimmers and a blue with some gloss so we're gonna see what this makes okay before we get started i want to say that i've done this before yesterday with this and this is my jeffree stars lip scrub well it's the little glass container well not glass plastic container and what happened was i made another earlier i made a shade yesterday i made a shade with two Mary Kay lipsticks, one, there's my like exact skin tone, like exact, like, so it didn't go for me at all. Another one, there's my exact lip color and a Milani one that broke. And it made this beautiful shade that I call Rosebee. And I'll swatch it on the paper and I'll show you. Like I said before, a lot of these colors, I'm gonna be using all of them, but for some of them, I'm gonna be using only half. Like for example, I'm gonna be using all of this one, but probably, of my Kat Von D like half or just a teeny little bit because I might like the color again and just melt it back down and then put it back in the tube. So we'll see. Okay, here is all the colors that we have in the shot glass that we're gonna melt down. All the lipstick tubes that are going to be discarded. Oh, I forgot one, I'll add this in. Um, some of the papers and some of the lipstick tubes that I'm going to keep. I'm going to add this one color in real quick and then I'll come back. We have our little disposable cup that we're going to be putting our homemade lipstick in. Um, this lipstick has a lot of nudes, a lot of reds and pinks. Some of the a green, um, the of course the blue. I'm really unsure because there are some shimmer in colors in here and a little bit of purple. So I'm really like excited to see what color this turns out because... The other one I made was some nudes and had some pinky tones in it, but this one is a whole cluster fuck of colors. So we're going to see what this makes. Let's okay, see. So I tried mixing in. It wasn't really turning out well. It's still really like clumpy, but so far it looks like unicorn vomit. So not having a lot of hopes for this. We'll see when it's like fully mixed, but I'm not really sure well I'm not really and sure for anybody who's asking like why don't I put it in like other lipstick tubes the reason is because a lot of those lipstick tubes were first of all broken or I didn't want to mess up and spill everywhere because I am known for spilling and stuff like that so I did not want to take the chance so and I have hundreds of these disposable cups for, for when I do special effects so these come in handy, and also I could just color it, cover it in cellophane wrap, and it'll be all good. So, we're gonna see what it turns out. Last minute, but look at this color, it's so pretty. I did not expect this, because I did not, I only put one purple lipstick in, but you saw like a lot of them were pink, a couple were nude, only one was green and one was like um, blue and stuff. But this is just gorgeous. I'm gonna put it in the fridge right now and we'll see what happens. Right now, I took a little bit that was at like the end of that shot glass and I swatched it on my hand. Look at how pretty this color is. It's like a ready purple kind of brown shimmer that kind of dries semi-matte but mostly is satin. It's so pretty, guys. I didn't tip it this at all. I'm gonna talk about more when it dries and then I'll swatch it on my lips. 
Oh yeah, and by the way, this stuff stains. Okay, so I wanted to come back to this just to show you all the colors that I used. A lot of them actually didn't have names. I think you can tell a couple of them are full covered. Some of them are medium full covered. A lot of them are patchy, patchy and streaky. A couple of them are just eh. We have some shimmers. Um, and this is the cl the custom one I made yesterday with the Mil with Milani and the two Mary Kay lipsticks. So, and here are some of the... A lot of them are LA Girl, which is surprising. Because I usually do not use LA Girl lipsticks, so clearly I wouldn't really be using them at all. Like, So that's probably why I got... I chucked most of them into the lipstick making pot boiling thing. Yeah, you get what I mean. I just wanted to um, show what the custom one I made yesterday looks like. This is Rosebe. Do not mind like the bad mess up. I applied it with my fingers. And I usually use a lip brush if I use like ones from jars and stuff. But I'm too lazy to go find one out of my drawer. So I did it with my lips. So don't mind it. This came out really full coverage, which is, which is weird considering the fact that both, all three of those lipsticks were like kind of sheer to medium coverage. So for it to come out like full, medium to full coverage, kind of weird. It probably is the pigments in them, but... I do really like how this lipstick came out. Final lipstick, there is a little bit of shimmer, and it came out like this really nice red, purpley mauve color, which I'm really happy for. Do not mind the finger indentation in it. I literally touched it when it was not done. I'm gonna swatch it on my lips right now and see how it looks on my lips. Here is the color swatched on my lips again. Do not mind I'm using my fingers because I'm lazy and I cannot get a lip brush. So this is the color I made. It turned out really nice, which I'm surprised because you guys saw I only used one purple lipstick and I was afraid it was going to turn out like a yucky poo-poo brown. You get some of the shimmer from the Kat Von D one and the LA Girl with the no name. And it turned out really nice. It actually goes with my makeup, which is pretty weird because weird thing, I've been wearing makeup the last like four days and I haven't been doing that a lot lately because I've been really lazy when doing makeup. But... I'm really happy how this color turned out, so let's see if I'll do it again. Probably not, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave me your comments down below, and remember to su subscribe and like. Have a good night.